Hey, human Latiosites, this is Latios Azubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Diamond Richlock. Here we are in the Veilstone City Team Galactic Headquarters. Last time, we made it all the way here after, well, we battled Candace, we encountered Jupiter with Barry at Lake Acuity, and we made it part way through here. We, we made it this far. So let's go see what is going on here. Let's unlock this door because we have the galactic key. Now let's go. I see the, the head honcho. We have the big boss here. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up the Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expected to see that if the trainer is a mere child. I heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about you seeing Mesprit and his elf. Correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But, I must say, you're a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you. Do they not? Do they not? I still was, uh, um, but still, you came to rescue them out of pity? Such pitiful, useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You were compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Oh boy, so here we go against the Team Galactic Boss, Cyrus. Alright, so Cyrus is leading off with a Murkrow. Alright. Okay, this is 4th Gen, so Prankster Eevee Light is not a thing. So we don't have to worry too much, as long as you don't get like a crit or anything. Okay, you're gonna outspeed us anyway, you have a drill pack. We probably need to do some training. Oh, wow, that did some damage. Okay, well, we're gonna land a Surf. Hopefully that'll do enough. I don't know if it will... It will not. Alright, let's go for another Surf then. You're gonna use a Super po Why would you use a Super Potion? Cyrus is not very bright. In fact, I think we're really lucky that he actually did that. If we can take this thing down... Come on... Ugh. Alright, you know what? Do the, let's do this again. You're gonna embargo? Why would you do that? I was expecting another potion of some sort. Wasted of a surf. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. Next up is Golbat. Alright, we are gonna go into... Simba, you're up. You guys need some training. All of you do. We are a bit under-leveled. Um, alright, level 40, yeah, we're under-leveled. You're obviously gonna outspeed us Poison Fang, don't you dare get the hacks. And you get the hacks! Of course you're gonna get the hacks. Of course you're gonna get that hacks. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, come on. Eevee Light's not a thing. Go get- Yes! Get wrecked, Golbat! Get wrecked. All right. So check through to level 35. And Simba is hurt by poison. Of course. Sneasel. All right, you know what? I'm going to go into Mike, our up-and-coming uh, star. And by up-and-coming, I mean we've only had him for like two episodes. <laughs> All right. My last Pokemon. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to say. All right, you know what? Mike is is definitely too good for uh, Sneasel. There's no way this Sneasel lives. There's no way. No way. Even if we are under leveled, there's no way. Yeah, there we go. Nine levels. That doesn't mean anything. All right. So with that, Mike is going to go to level 35. Nice. So with that, we defeated the Galactic Boss Cyrus. 
interesting and quite curious. All right, so now we got $7,740 for winning. I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Ooh! A Master Ball. Why would you give us a Master Ball? Seriously, why would you give us a Master Ball? I... You know what? No comment. The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild, but it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet. Where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Clearly he's not very bright for telling us exactly what he's planning. Oh, shoot. Simba, Simba, I shall give you an antidote. There you go. All better. All better. Alright, I'm gonna heal everyone up right now, just because... It just seems like the thing to do. I mean, we're in Dalestone, so if we need any more of these uh, fresh water, now is probably not a bad time to go buy them. Pavlo, I'm just going to leave you there, because you're only missing like 7 hit points. So, yeah. Alright. Um... I cooperated with Team Galactic, but this experiment has gone too far. Then why don't you stop them? I can't say anything in our defense, but that thing we made... What is it going to be used for? Ay ay ay. Yuxi's sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. Aww. Must be the case for Mespert and his elf, too. Mespert is sealed inside. It seems to be suffering with its tail twitching. Oh, these poor pixies. His elf is sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with racking shoulders. Oh, uh, Mrs. Shudders. <laughs> oh. Oh, these, these, these poor uh, three Pokemon. We gotta save them, don't we? You! You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you! Consider it payback for your insulting insulting me at the lake. Okay. This is the worst welcome committee I've ever seen. With that, here we go against Commander Saturn. Alright, Saturn is leading up with the Kadabra. I think Drill Peck is probably the way to go, because hitting it on the physical end is probably the best option here. Oh, you're going to shockwave. I should have just switched out. But to whom? Should have gone into Sim. I should have gone into Simba. Could have gone for a crunch on you. No, it doesn't matter. Shockwave is not. Um, I mean, it's, well, as long as you don't crit, you can't power with that. All right, Drill Pack is. You're gonna live. I gotta switch. All right, Simba, you can you can handle this. I'm guessing. We can just bite this thing. You can easily live a shockwave easily. In fact, you can easily lift two. Oh, you got a crit. You know what? I'm really glad now that I switched it out if that was a crit. I'm just gonna bite this thing. Ooh, you're gonna psychic. Alright, as long as you don't crit, we're probably good. If you crit, we're in trouble. 
Okay, we're gonna leave that so you're gonna get bit and you're going down. In hindsight, I should just switched out to begin with into Simba, but live and learn. I did not think it was gonna have Shockwave, to be honest, off the top of my head. Alright, next up is Bronzor. Oh boy. Um Chet, I get Chet or Pablo? I'm gonna go into Pablo. Because Chet is weak to steel. Even though steel would be physical and Chet does have a nice physical defense. Especially being a rock type. Still this is probably safer ultimately. All right, well, that's not going to get the KO that... Oh, boy. No, 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 no. you got to be kidding me. All right. Pablo, I believe in you, but... I'm not going to take an unnecessary risk. There's a difference between taking a necessary risk and an unnecessary risk. This one I could easily just switch out in Squires. Squires resists... Okay. Squires resist steel. You got a crit there, that... That's a thing. I'm just gonna go for a discharge. That should finish you off. Alright. These bronzers are getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> Alright. Next up is Toxic Croak. This is definitely a time to go into Charlie. Alright. We're gonna get that nice intimidation off, which is definitely nice. You're gonna anticipate a uh, wing attack, I guess. I would fly, but eh, whatever. We're one level under that Toxic Croak. This might just finish it off. Yes, okay, so Charlie for the win. Alright. At least our whole team is getting some action today. That's at least, uh, Something nice. You're a tough kid, but I still pity the likes of you. Alright. Pity me all you want, but give me your money. Gah! What makes you so tough? Fine. Do whatever you want with these three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. Oh, this poor Pokemon. I feel so bad for them. I'm free. <laughs> They're just gonna disappear. Our boss created a red chain from crystals he took from the free Pokemon. The red chain is what is needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Um... Nothing good. Probably something pretty bad. Alright. You know what, we gotta heal up, don't we? Alright, let's... Heal up our Pokemon while we're, uh, while we can. You know what, oh, it'll, one, eh, 11, okay, that's, I mean, this way you'll be at full health. I'm just gonna put everyone at full health right now. Because I can. And we are about to head to Mount Coronet. Because Cyrus is, uh, not very bright. Be, uh, in that he told us exactly what he's doing and exactly where he's going. Do you ever notice how that's one of the big ways villains always mess up? They make their big mistake by revealing their plan. And once they do, it's easy to just, you know, deal with their plan. Alright, well you know what? Before we do that... How is Pablo doing PowerPoint-wise? have nine serves, that's okay. I want to get rid of cut on chat. While it is good to have cut, we're going to need someone to have rock climb. At least I think we will. We're going to need strength too, I believe, but... Alright, let's give up cut. 
it's not really useful for us, to be honest. So... Let's do that. Um... So I'm going to have to give Rock Climb to someone so we can use it in Mount Coronet. Um... But Mike? Because I think Rock Climb gets confusion, right? So it's, it's a step up from faint. I don't really need to faint anymore. Let's, I mean, I never really need to, because what are the... I'm not going to predict a protect on a Pokemon unless it's a Pelipper. If it's a Pelipper, why would I use... Um... A Lucario. Chet can still learn something else that might actually be useful at some point. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out at some point. But Cut isn't going to cut it for us. Alright. Alright, let's head to Mount Coronet. Also, I don't believe we have our encounter from Mount Coronet yet. So, maybe we'll get something like that. Alright, well, first of all, though, just, just because there's really no real reason to not... I'm going to put this at the top. I'm going to use a Super Repel. Just to save us time. I don't believe we have Rock Smash on us, but that's okay. Did we battle this guy? I don't remember. I don't even remember who we battled and who we didn't. I do think it's really cool how Mount Corn, you have to go here, you have to pass here in order to, uh, you have to pass here twice in order to get from place to place in the game. And then the uh, climax takes place at the top of it. I mean, technically it's the Spear Pillar, but Spear Pillar is in Mount Corn, which means I guess we get, two, since they're two different places, we get two separate encounters. Okay, just time purposes. I mean, now we can get some interesting encounters. In fact, although I think we're strongly limited by what we can get, we can probably get like a Chimeco. Well, I guess also Chingling. So Chingling or Chimeco, depending on what we find, or I want to say Cleffa and Clefairy are here. I don't remember for sure. Um... Well, this is a different ex a different exit of the place. So we found an iron. Well, that will help us fund those. Um, that'll help us pay for that super repel we just wasted. If nothing else, if nothing else, it'll help us with that. All right, bicycle time. Revive! That is... that is not useful, in the least. Alright. I can't believe I just overshot it. You bicycle! There goes my repel but um, my repel budget. I might as well get this item while we're here anyway. Rock slide! Okay, I am glad that I... that I over jumped my, um, thing. That is definitely something I can, I can, um, give to, uh, chat. Okay. Whoa. Turn around, please. Thank you kindly. Whoa. The bicycle makes it a little hard to steer when you're trying to avoid people, doesn't it? Alright, I guess we're battling Team Galactic Grunts, or a Grunt, at least for now. You have a Bronze, of course, the Bronzer. What else are you going to have? It's always a Bronzer. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a Surf. Okay. And we're not going to KO, but you're going to Iron Defense. I don't even care. I don't even care. 
Take my bubble beam. Take this bubble beam to the face. You're going down. You're just, you're going down. Pablo OP. Pablo OP. Alright, so with that, we defeated the Galactic Grunt. And now it's snowing. Apparently we're outside, and, well, outside the uh, snow is falling, and friends are calling you who? I suppose. Well. No reason to battle all these gl um, grunts since we can't heal up between uh, battle. I didn't mean to battle him, but okay. Team Collect is all powerful. I'll believe that when I say it. Alright, so you've got a stunky. That kind of, um, stunky. Stinks? Stunky? I don't even care. Take a bubble beam to the face. I should have just surfed. You're out speeding us with a night slash. Oh great. Why should you get a crit too? No, you're weak. You weak skunk. You purple skunk. <laughs> well, stunky's that stunky is not. Just just not even. Not a thing. Alright, goal bat. Alright, you know what? Simba, you can handle this, right? If you can't handle this, then then I don't know what to tell you. Then you can't handle this. I, I don't know. I don't know. We gotta get to the top of this place, so let's go for a spark. You're gonna air cut her. Wow. Okay, it's resisted. It's not gonna do anything. Seriously, if you want to do some damage, go for an Air Slash. At least you can get some flinches, potentially. And the flinches can potentially, um, I guess, let moves add up. And over time, you'll eventually do some real damage. Alright, what's with that? Simba grew to level 36. Awesome. Chet grew to level 36 as well. And, oh, Chet learned Zen Head, but not bad. Alright. Good thing we got her a cut. Alright, well, you know what? Chet is level 36. I think I'm going to give this EXP share to Squires, who is currently tied for our lowest level Pokemon. I'm trying to let our Pokemon level up somewhat consistently with each other, although this doesn't seem to be working out too well for me. Alright. Once again, I know I can get my encounter here. Because we still haven't, but I'm just holding off for now just because I'm too lazy to try to catch anything. I don't want to take extra damage or anything that I don't have to do while we're about to get ready to battle um, a bunch of galactic head people. So, that's pretty much that. Alright, I know there's a bunch of grunts as we get closer. I don't think we can avoid them. Yeah, as I thought. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It's extra experience. I probably shouldn't have Pablo in the front. Just because of... Uh, other Pokemon should get some experience. Actually, it's Bronzer, so I'm actually glad Pablo's in the front. <laughs> I don't know. Pablo, I have mixed feelings about using a lot of Pablo, because, I mean, it makes sense for, for Pablo to be stronger than everyone else, or higher in level to be, to, to be evenly, uh, I guess, to remain even with everyone else. It makes sense for Pablo to be at a higher level, because Pablo is a Piplup, compared to, uh, Lucario, Staraptor, Luxray, um, Rampardos. I mean, Pache Risu is, is kind of defensive in a way, I guess, but still. You know what? 
Chet, your turn to do some work here. Let you, I'll let you do some battling. I'm not gonna let my Pokemon get, you know, just sidelined all the time. All right, we have that Mold Breaker. I'm gonna Zen Headbutt. We're not gonna out. Oh, you're gonna Charm us, <laughs> of course. All right, minus two. That's okay. That's okay. Zen Headbutt is not going to be that useful in chat, I don't anticipate then, because we're not going to get any flinches, so we can't outspeed- WOW! Minus two, and we're still going to get the KO! Wow, chat. Not even stabbed, and we're super effective. You're powerful. Alright, well. Let's, uh, keep going with these Team Galactic grunts, I mean... It's free experience, free money, uh, free everything except take... Because it's not free, it costs us power points. And potentially fresh water. I don't know. Alright, I'm kind of concerned that Palo is running low on these surfs. I'm going to go for a bubble beam. I mean, based on the damage surf has been doing, bubble two bubble beams should still take it out. Future Sight, that can't be good. Alright, let's finish it off with another Bubble Beam. I feel like this is kind of like a throwback thing, just going for Bubble Beam now. To before we had Surf. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, either way, Pablo is uh, definitely uh, doing well for us. Alright, next up is Golbat. You know what, Squires, you're up. I need you to take this thing out, though, before the Future Sight attack hits. Alright, let's discharge on this thing. Alright, we're gonna outspeed that somehow. And come on. We're gonna take it down! Good job, Squires! You might be tired for our lowest level Pokemon, but you've proven that you know what you're doing. Alright. Also, you're gonna get a lot more experience because you're the one holding the XP share. Alright. Are you kidding me? Another grunt? You probably have a bronzer too. I think it's like a rule. You can only be in Team Galactic if you have a bronzer. And if you don't have a bronzer, then you're, you're upgraded to Commander. <laughs> Alright. You have... No, you have a Golbat. Okay. I don't think I want Pablo in against a Golbat. Maybe I do. Hmm. I don't want to use up all my surfs, though. Simba, you're up. You can live a... Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to go for, like, an air cutter. Precisely. All right. Precisely. Take the spark to the face. Or you're going to outspeed us and go for a stupid confused ray. Wow! Simba, don't hurt yourself. Just, just don't. Okay, good. All right. That is that that goal that's going down. You're not living a stab spark from Simba. You're not living a stab uh, a stab spark from Simba. That's just 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 not happening. All right. So with that, Squires is going to go to level 36. So Squares is no longer our lowest level Pokemon. What do you know? Alright, you know what? I kind of want to go into Mike. Since Mike is currently our lowest level Pokemon. Alright. I dare you to fake me out. I'm going to Rock Climb. I don't want to waste all my Force Palms. I dare you to... Okay, you're not going to fake out. Okay. I couldn't care less if you fake out or not. Bronzer, of course. Besides, even if you did fake out, we have Steadfast, so <laughs> we'd be faster af afterward. Alright, um, Bronzor, 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 I'll go into... <laughs> I'm gonna stay in, I'm just gonna Force Palm. 
So I guess I was right. The only way you can be a Team Galactic Grunt is if you have a Bronzor. If you don't have a Bronzor, you're not allowed to be a Grunt. You'll be upgraded to Commander. <laughs> no Para? Okay. You're gonna Gyro Ball. Well, you should have gone for the Fake Out. Then your Gyro Ball, even though it's resisted, would have done more damage. Because I'd be faster, and then your Gyro Ball would do more damage. Because you would, by, in, you would, relatively speaking, be slower than me. Than you already are. And Gyro Ball did more. Whatever. Either way, we're gonna take you down. Running low on those, on those, um, Force Palms, but whatever. All right. Well, Mike, you, you have the King's Rock, so. Hmm. Well. Here we go. Something huge is going to happen, I think. Maybe, right? Don't mess around. Of course, you're going to, aren't you? That's why the two of us team up to take you down to the ground. All right, so with that, here we go against two Team Galactic Grunts. Looks like a guy and a girl. Since they're dressed identically, it's kind of hard to tell the difference, to be honest, from the overworld. But, let's do this. Alright, we're going to intimidate these stunk the Stunky and the Dust Ox. I don't know who I'm more afraid of, though, to be honest. Stunky and the Dust Ox. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to Bubble Beam on the Stunky. I can't surf. I don't want to hit Charlie. That would be a problem. I'm going to Wing Attack on the Dust Ox. I'm kind of more concerned about the Dust Ox, even though watch the Stunky end up turning around and scaring me. Okay, we're gonna take down the dust ox. That is nice. All right. We're not gonna get too much experience since this is a double battle. Well, we're not gonna get too much experience per Pokemon, but we're gonna get, probably get a decent amount of experience overall, probably. <laughs> wow, that Night Slash did nothing. All right. So take this Bubble Beam. You're probably gonna live it. No, you're not. Pablo OP. <laughs> Alright, next up, um, Krogunk, and what else? You're gonna anticipate and shudder, right? And Glamiel. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's... Let's do the same thing. I'm more afraid of the Krogunk, but I am the Glamiel. Glamio doesn't scare me nearly as much as Perugly would. Okay. Alright, and you're gonna slash on Charlie. That's a crit. Not very much, but still a crit. Okay. Charlie can handle it, I'm sure. And we're gonna go for the bubble beam. <laughs> you're going down. Pablo OP. Pablo OP. Alright. So with that, we defeated the Galactic Grunts. Alright, so apparently we beat the toughest of all Grunts. That's just pathetic. We're just gonna let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. I will say, I do agree with them in one thing. They are pathetic. Alright, let's... heal up our Pokémon. Because we're going to have a tough battle coming up, I'm pretty sure. It's going to be a tough battle. Oh boy. Now all will end, and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon. I'm the master of time. Yeah, I know it's pronounced Dialga technically. I don't care. Whoa. Oh 
Um... Oh my, that can't be good. Colorful. That can't be very good. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. Um... Okay. So apparently the valley wind works in Hardom City are covered in this, uh... I guess... thing? <laughs> this is the mythical Pokémon that created Sinnoh! A, it's one of them, and B, it was created by a different Pokémon. Dialga, the ancient deity of time! Oh my. This world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. Wow. He's crazy. Um... You don't think you can just run off now, do you? I suppose I can't, can I? Well... Then I guess we're gonna have to get ready for battle. Let's do this. There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad. But you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I can care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time, the gloves are coming off. Hold on a second! Don't you start the party without me! <laughs> well, if it, isn't the, if, if it isn't the little boy who ran off crying at Lake Acuity, do you get any tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two! Alright, so with that, here we go in a battle with our friend Barry against Commanders Mars and Jupiter! And they're both leading off with Bronzer, so clearly my, um, what I said before was not correct. You're not necessarily promoted to Commander if you have a if you don't have a Bronzor. You probably are, but just because you have a Bronzor doesn't mean you won't be a Commander. Alright, I'm gonna surf it up. We are just gonna surf this up. It might, it might hit Barry's Munchlax, but that might actually not be a bad thing. Wow! We're gonna get a crit right off the bat! Pablo, you are awesome! Oh my goodness, alright. Okay, we're gonna get a crit right there. Um, it's gonna hit the Munchlax. It's not gonna do too much in the Munchlax, really. Alright, Munchlax does have a decent, I guess, special defense. Extra sensory on the Munchlax. That is awesome. Way too awesome, I must say. Alright, we need to... The problem is, though, we're, we're still gonna have to, uh... Okay, Screech, that is actually awesome, because that's going to lower your special defense. No, I still know it's your physical defense, so it doesn't make a difference for me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, I need... Alright, Pablo, I need you to live a slash from Perugly. I know you can do it. That was a crit? Really? That was the best you got. That was the best you got. Wow, we must have some decent defense EVs. And we're gonna return the favor with another crit! Pablo, oh my god! Pablo OP! Pablo OP! Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. I, I have no- I have no word. Rock slide, oh god. <gasps> Pablo's gonna avoid it! Pablo, oh my god! Pablo is ripping Team Galactic a new one. Alright, Munchlax is going to gain some defenses. I really don't care too much. In fact, I'd actually rather the Munchlax probably go down, only because this way Barry would send in something that would probably do more damage. Uh, I'm going to Surf again. I'm just going to Surf. You're going to Poison Fang on the Munchlax, because clearly you've come to your senses that no one's attacking Pablo. Nobody is, nobody is taking down Pablo. It's just, you can't. You can't take down Pablo. Pablo was too strong. 
Pablo is too strong. Another crit! Three in a row! Three crits in a row! Oh my god! Three crits on Mars in a row! Pablo, you are too good! Pablo is too good! Squire's gonna go to level 37. Once I learn last resort. I'm not all about that life. It might be good for this, actually, but... Mm, I'm just gonna pass. I, I mean... I like the idea of fake out last resort, but... For this, I mean... The only time it'd be useful is when you have nothing else, but it only worked five times. Okay. Alright, just to be safe, I'm actually gonna switch out at this point, but... Or why would I switch out? Hmm. Should I switch out? I simultaneously do and don't want to. Hmm. Serve will do more if there's no uh, ally next to you. Okay, you're in Night Slash. Don't you dare crit. Don't you dare crit. Don't you dare... Okay, good. Alright. That did nothing. Wow. You just... You... <laughs> Pablo is, is just overpowered. Okay, you're gonna- you have a citrus. Alright, Munchlax, come on- oh, you're gonna go down, aren't you, Munchlax? Yeah, alright. Well, at least Barry will be able to go into something that'll help us out a little bit more. Star Raptor! Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough, and you're gonna get intimidated. Okay. I don't want to attack the Star Raptor, though. I don't think we're gonna outspeed the Star Raptor. I'm gonna brine it up. Star Raptor's gonna take down. Okay. And that is actually gonna take down the Skun Tank. So I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna brine anything then, I guess. Pablo is just overpowered. <laughs> I, I don't know how Pablo is getting all these crits, but it is it is it is hilarious. All right, I'm gonna surf just because I want to take that thing down. Star Raptor's gonna outspeed the Golbat and take down. Um, and you're just going down. So we need to have to switch out from Pablo. You see, taking down the Munchlax is a really good idea, <laughs> to be honest. Because this way Barry was able to finish it off worse, and Pablo is going deservingly so! Let's be honest, Pablo deserved that level. But that Pablo could level 45. So yes, to those of you who were complaining that Pablo didn't need, about Pablo not evolving, just... Here's the proof it's not necessary. I should have done the fighting. You've toughened up, but you're no match or a boss. Yeah, so those of you who have been complaining in any way about Pablo not evolving, just look at what Pablo can do. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> My Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But, you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Lotazul, well, I'll help you with this. Nice, our Pokemon fully healed. That's a free heal. That is really nice. Hey, Lotazul, well, this is it. It's your show now. Whoa. Oh, Dialga. This is fantastic. Beautiful. It's the creation of a new galaxy! My new world! What? It's Yuxi! Beee! It's Mesprit! Beee! It's his elf! Beee! I see they stopped it. Nice. Oh, hey, Mesprit. Thanks for the help. The red chain! It crumbled away to nothing! But why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? Ah, but never mind that. It's all destroyed! My galaxy is gone! I won't allow this. I will capture those three Pokemon again and craft another red chain. Before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you! 
Well, I think you, you you shouldn't have let Jupiter just, you know, let us release those Pokemon then. Well then, here we go against Team Galactic Boss Cyrus, the head honcho with his haunch crow. Here we go. Alright, level 45, haunch crow. Ugh. I'm concerned. I'm a bit concerned. I'm a little more than a bit concerned. We're not over leveled at this point. We are actually right on target level wise. If we can get a crit with Surf, we can probably do some serious work. You're gonna drill peck. Okay, come on, Pavel. You can live that. You can live that. Come on. Alright, it's stab. It's not gonna do too much though. That's kinda nice. Paolo, come on. Come on, this is a special move. You're a special attacker. You have EVs. Come on! Alright, okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Let's let let's brine. You're gonna full your super potion. Of, of course, should have gone for a surf there. Actually, you are at half health. Hmm. Brine might finish you off. Brine will, okay. Alright, yeah. Cyrus isn't very bright. Not very bright indeed. Alright. Next up is Gyarados. I am going to go into, you know what? Sim no, I'm going to go into Squires, because Squires is discharged, which is special, so it won't be, int it won't be affected by the Intimidation. We are a little under-leveled, but... Hmm. Alright, you're gonna, you're gonna Intimidate us, I, I get that. Alright, so I'm gonna go for a Discharge, it's quite effective. We're gonna outspeed! That is the power of EVs. The power of EVs. Okay, come on. Gyarados, just go down. Just go down. Yeah, there we go. Gyarados is going down. It's that simple. Alright, so Squire's gonna grow to level 38. Nice job, Squires. Alright, next up is Weavile. You know what? Mike, this is your this is your thing. You gotta do this. This is up to you. You took care of that Weavile before it evolved earlier today. <laughs> so I think I think you can handle this. Okay, you're gonna have that pressure. That's okay. I'm willing to spend two force palms on this thing. Night Slash, we resist that twice, I believe. So even even if you crit it, it wouldn't be that bad. Take this force palm to the face. Even if we are underleveled, I think this should still do it. There we go! There we go. What are 13 levels when you have a type advantage? A huge type advantage at that. Alright, and finally, Crobat. Crobat. Who can handle a Crobat? I kind of want to go into Squires. I also kind of want to go into Simba. Hmm. Squires, you have better defenses, just in case you can't KO it. Alright. Alright. I admit that you have pushed me to this stream. Alright, here we go. Give me the para. Are you gonna air slash? Don't you dare cr um, don't you dare flinch. Don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. Yes, okay, right now. Come on, give me the para. Give me the para. Give me that para. Give me the para. Come on, game. Give me the para. Give me the para. No, okay, it's okay. This, this cannot be! It's not possible that I lose! You already lost today, so face it. Alright, come on. Confuse. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, come on, squires. I believe in you, squires. I believe in you, squires. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do this. No, you're gonna hurt yourself. Okay, I think we have one more chance. One more chance, because... Bite. Eh, it's gonna hurt. Mm. And we flinch. Um... Simba, you're up. It's not that I don't believe in Squires, it's just that... I'm gonna be- I'm gonna make the safe move here. I'm just gonna take the safe move. And this is the safe move. You're gonna probably confuse, right? No, you're gonna cross- CROSS POISON! Alright, Simba live. Simba, 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 Simba- Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Spark- This should- This should handle it. This should take care of the- This should take care of things. 
This should take care of it. There we go. And it's a crit! Just for good measure. Just for good measure. Oh my goodness. Alright! So with that, we defeated Galactic Boss Cyrus. I won't accept this. The power is spoken in the mythology. I didn't just make it to obey me. I made it my own. Whatever you say. What is truly the ultimate? What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? The most important thing. What shines the brightest. Telling you is meaningless. But I will not give up. I will become a deity one day. And I will make the ultimate mine. Wow. Oh. Hey, Don. Hey, Rowan. Dialga, the master of time. It's impossible to tell if it is enraged or saddened. But to me, Dialga appears to be waiting for you, Latizul. It seems to be challenging you as a test. Go on, Latizul. Face up to Dialga. Listen to its heart. Understand its thoughts. Dialga is out of control after being dragged out by the Red Chain and forced to use its power. Dialga seems to be entrusting you with stopping it. Ladazul, I ran into Barry a little while ago. He said that he believed in you, Ladazul. He said that you could get the job done. I feel the same way. Please help that Pokemon. It's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. Okay. Did you say mythical Pokemon? So Dialga's a mythical Pokemon? I thought mythical Pokemon were event ones. Hmm. I guess the, uh, the, I guess Pokemon, them, I guess Pokemon, um, well, Game Freak themselves have admitted that legendary and mythical Pokemon are interchangeable. Alright, I'm gonna heal up, just to be safe. Well, it makes sense for the creation trio, I guess, to be considered mythical, considering, um, you know, by definition, they are spoken of in myths. I don't know. Well, Team Galactic is done, but we still have to take care of that Dialga, which is, um, enraged, I guess, and needs to be calmed down or captured. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll take care of that next time. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we try to calm down that Dialga. Goodbye.